Hello, Genesis Project family. Thank you again for watching. I am very excited to show you in this video um, some of the amazing people that I've got to spend a lot of great, great time with in Florida. Um, and some of these volunteers here, um, I'm sure you guys watch some of our videos and uh, are huge, huge support for us. And we just want to say thank you. Um, this video is going to be about you. Um, I am so blessed to have gotten to spend weeks with just an amazing amount of people out here um, in Inglewood, Florida. I was here for three weeks and we were able to accomplish so much in the name of Christ that uh, it just blows me away how, how much support and love that, uh, that the Samaritan's Purse is able to put out. And that is what we want to do through Genesis Project as well. Um, I like to, to mirror that image when Arlene and I, when we go out and love on others here in the island. So um, it has already been pinned by Samaritan's Purse. And uh, I'm very excited to, uh, to extend that out in the work that we do here with Genesis Project. So this video is about you and um, we love you. We thank you for all that you do, for where your heart is, for the furtherance of the kingdom and uh, how you share the gospel well. So enjoy the video. So this is a picture of my good friend, Lynn McBride. Her husband, Jim and Lynn both came down from South Carolina to serve with Samaritan's Purse. I have served in the Bahamas with Lynn. Um, we're, we're pretty good friends. And I was really blessed when Lynn had contacted me, oh, back in July and said, hey, you know, at some point in a deployment, I'd like to come down and do some, some sawing with you, you know, um, and just kind of shadow you on some sawing. So I contacted Lynn prior to coming out to Inglewood and told her, I said, hey, I'm going to be in, in Florida for three weeks. I would love for you and Jim to come down. Um, I hadn't met Jim at that point, so uh, I, I really wanted to, to get to know Jim and uh, just kind of spend some time with them and do what we like to do, and that's um, lead teams and, and saw down trees. So Lynn came out and uh, Jim came down and we had an amazing time. I really had a blessed, blessed week getting to spend with them. Lynn got some saw time, some time behind that chainsaw, and uh, we got some some homes taken care of. It was amazing. Um, she was also a very pivotal part of leading one of our volunteer team members to Christ. Um, and that was uh, probably one of the most amazing parts of the the whole three weeks we were there is just whenever you're able to get a salvation just to be able to uh, to share that and uh, to be a part of that salvations are the reason that we're there these are some pictures of some of the homes that we worked on and some of the piles that we've made in the yards um, when we were finished now when we came into this neighborhood um, we started out we had one work order written and it was one house in this cul-de-sac and we actually ended up writing out probably 20 more houses in this vicinity in this this area i did six in the cul-de-sac as well as three up in the next cul-de-sac across the street um, and that's kind of how this worked we showed up to uh to love on one homeowner and they saw the orange shirts, the Samaritan's Purse shirts, and they come to find out what was going on, what, uh, what, and ask, you know, how they could receive some help as well. So we were very blessed to be able to get to know a lot of homeowners and serve in this vicinity here for most of the three weeks that, uh, that I was in Englewood. Um, just so many people in so much need, and we met so many folks that uh, we were able to love on and just uh, really show the the joy and the peace that, that Christ provides um, just by being the hands and feet of Jesus. So, 
some of these pictures here are the teams in which um, I was so blessed to work with. And you'll see a lot of familiar faces. Um, Bonnie Tollick, uh, one of my good friends here in uh, numerous amounts of these team photos here. She was there for two weeks. Her and Becky and Becky's husband, John, we were we all served together for about two weeks of time and it was just an amazing amazing time having them i think uh, this year alone i've served on three deployments with bonnie um i know that she was in mayfield i believe she was in memphis and then um she was also in breathitt county and as well as um englewood so that might be four but yes um, been just Bonnie was on my very very first deployment back in Vider, Texas as well and uh, I've just had been so blessed to serve with Bonnie on so many different deployments um, and uh, from beginning to uh, to present so very thankful for her support and her heart to serve Christ here's some pictures and a video of Heath Williamson Heath and his wife Bethany and his boys uh, came down and spent six weeks now in Inglewood and uh, Punta Gorda and Fort Myers area. So the, uh, the Southwest Florida area on hurricane relief here. And uh, I was so blessed to spend all three weeks with Heath. Um, as you know that uh, Heath and Bethany, they run rapid ministries from out of Kansas. And they have been on the road for a year now living out of their their trailer and um, just serving the Lord so well. And any time that I'm able to be on a deployment with Heath, it is a true blessing. Um, this man does not have any quit in him. Uh, there isn't really anything that he won't do to uh, to love somebody well and show the love of Christ and in his ability and his work. Um, I'm just so thankful to be able to to work with Heath and uh, I do it as often as I possibly can. Any opportunity I get to, to have Heath on my team or to be able to, to work with him, man, we are all over it. Um, he is, check out his, uh, his videos here. Check out Rapid Ministries here on Facebook and, and um, I believe he's, yeah, I know he's got some, some va Facebook videos, but uh, that really, ties everything in together with what uh, what we were able to accomplish and help support his ministry because um, they are a nonprofit organization as well and uh, I would love to give him all the props that he is well deserved he is an amazing man of God and uh, he does he does what's right for the Lord and with what he has been given and uh, his wife and those boys they uh, they are servants of the Lord and it just I just had an amazing time we had a day off and uh, we went to the beach together and I got to hang out with Heath Bethany um, and uh, Kendall and Cole and um, it was amazing it was amazing time we uh, we found some shark teeth in the in the uh, went kind of in the surf um, just able that's a big thing down there in the beach so just able to play and have a good time on the one Sunday afternoon that we had off so very thankful for Heath and his ministry so like I said check him out support rapid ministries well serving with Samaritan's Purse some of the best things that I get to do in my daily job so to speak is um, Bible presentations to homeowners when we are finished with a, a home we present the the gospel will present the word and I love doing that and I love giving my team members the opportunity to present as well um, I think it's a really great opportunity to um, to show our faith and show them real love because uh, there isn't any greater gift than you can really give somebody than the gospel um, I've got some pictures in here of me and a couple that was on vacation, I kid you not, from Seattle, Washington area. They are big Husky fans. Um, and 
I, I was raised in, uh, you know, close to Pullman, Washington, which is Cougar country. And so there's big rivalry um, in between the Cougars and the Huskies. And uh, I saw this gentleman, John is his name, uh, show up to orientation one morning wearing a Washington Huskies t-shirt. And I immediately gave him some grief, told him, you know, go Cougs. And, and uh, he ended up getting put on my team and we just had a blast. Um, Melissa, his wife and John were just amazing, amazing people. Um, just so much, just loved having them on my team and uh, getting to, to build a relationship with them. Um, I pray that we're able to serve again and, uh, and uh, God willing, they'll be on my team again on another round. I've got another picture in here with uh, myself and some, some local, as I would consider local um, folks here, David, Michelle, and Carol. They are from, so Carol is Trini. She's from Trinidad. And when I was doing my, my orientation kind of speech, introducing myself, I told him that, you know, I lived on the island of Grenada and David and Michelle, David is actually has family for here in Grenada. So he is, he is my local people. So um, it was just amazing that uh, God just placed them on my team and we were able to build a great relationship um just uh, able to make a huge connection there they went to river church as well which is where i would attend when i was in, in inglewood so i was able to connect up with them and they came out for two saturdays out of their week and were on my team just uh volunteering and and loving on homeowners it was amazing so just really enjoyed david and michelle and carol and their heart to serve. The rest of these pictures are, uh, as you can see, of me um, doing a lot of the stuff that I love, and that's uh, some chainsaw work. I have to leave my mark where where I go, so you can see some of that um, in some of these photos. Um, just really loved Inglewood, loved the people, um, loved to be placed there to be the hands and feet of Christ, and. Um, this is uh, what I really feel is a, a true calling for me and purpose it shows me purpose in life um, in order to, uh, to serve others and help others in a way that uh, God has given me the talents. So I'm just so thankful for you all to support us, to give your prayers and your, your thoughts and your love for when we go in and, and serve others. Um, Arlene and I are now getting ready to uh, to embark on another journey. Um, so I will not be able to volunteer with um, Samaritan's Purse for another few months. So I'm going to take a little break. But that's only because God has got us um, going in a direction that a lot of you know about. And uh, we're so excited on our next video to tell you all about it. So stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, we appreciate you all so very much. Please comment, um, email us, contact us in any way you would like. Um, we would love to hear from you and uh, love to share with you what's going on in our lives as well. So God bless you and we'll see you soon.